A new federal report shows the number of homeless people in the U.S. jumped 12 percent over the past year, with Hawaii seeing the highest rates in the country. Our Annalisa Burgos breaks down the numbers. In the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's 2023 Annual Homeless Assessment Report released today, Hawaii had the highest percentage of people experiencing chronic homelessness and living without shelter, more than 81 percent. On a single night in January this year, more than 76 percent of the homeless in Hawaii were counted on the streets or in parks and vehicles, the highest in the country, followed by California and Oregon. State Representative Della Obaladi is chair of the Health and Homelessness Committee and said she's disappointed with the numbers. The legislature um, had agreed to in concept and recognize the need for behavioral crisis centers to deal with some of the chronic homelessness we see on the streets where we need to stabilize people who may, who may be experiencing substance abuse or mental health issues but don't need emergency room care. We failed to fund that. The annual snapshot shows soaring housing costs and ending pandemic aid led to a record number of people living in shelters, temporary housing and unsheltered settings, many becoming homeless for the first time. Hawaii also had the third highest rate of homeless youth staying in unsheltered locations. When you talk about the um, unaccompanied youth, if we had more programs that were really addressing the needs of uh, runaway youth, that might make a big difference. Connie Mitchell of IHS notes Hawaii doesn't have the dramatic jumps seen nationally. Assigned local services are helping minimize the impact, but that more funding is needed for frontline workers and social services. The chronic homelessness is driven um, a lot by the fact that people can live unsheltered here, number one. I think the other one is that we have a combination of very high rents here, and um, a job market that doesn't necessarily pay um, a living wage. Does this show that whatever um, whatever actions we've taken have not been successful in changing the state of homelessness for us? I think it raises serious questions of where we need to make sure we fund. You know, I think over time there have been success stories. We need to continue to fund those programs that have worked. You know, we have to, uh, to, to ensure that we have um, the success we have with, with families experiencing homelessness, we have to continue those programs. And we should not be cutting and underfunding those other programs that address um, this chronic homelessness that we see in individual adult populations. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.